Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Angela, and we're coming to you from the greater Chicagoland area. Hi, I'm Lou. And I'm Dee. And we're from Cleveland, Ohio. Join us as we taste a variety of fun wines on Friday nights. For part two of Rosés, we will be tasting Band of Roses. We have Band of Brothers. What, what's your Band question? of Roses? Band of Roses. Band of Brothers. <laughs> Band of Roses, Chris. Come on. He loves Band of Brothers. It's on his line. This is uh, 2018. And we have 2017. You know what I said about age. I have a feeling ours is going to be better than yours. Chris, I, Chris, I like him young. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> Oh, young well. at heart, young at heart. He means his wines, his wines deep. Young at heart, that's for sure. Yeah, I'll talk about wine. <laughs> wow, <are> <laughs> this is like a yellow almost in the glass yeah. for us. It is way lighter, yes. This is... So you have the 2017, Chris? Almost have like yes. a... Yes. Yeah. Well, so, no. um, Charles Shaw Web... Charles Smith, right? Charles Smith. <laughs> Charles Smith website. Um, they make their rosés out of uh, uh, Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris. They gotta add something to the color. Oh. So 100%. when I, I, I was I was confused about that as well because um, you know, Pinot Gris is a um, a white, white wine. wine. However, the grape they use has a pink skin. I had some interesting fun facts about the Band of Roses. What they do with the pink skins on the um, Pinot Gris grapes is that they um, they allow the juice to be in contact with the skins of the grapes for four hours and that's how they get the uh, unique color. We're tasting some other whites. Didn't we mention, wasn't there a four hour skin contact with some other? Chateau Saint Michel was the same. Did they yeah. said four hours? So, so the nose on this one is totally different from what we've smelled on our other rosés. Um, the tastes are totally different. And, you know, looking it up real quick, because I didn't do any research on this one, because it's a, it's a bonus wine. Silky palette with perfume aromas gives way to lila, lilac, guava, tangerine, passion fruit, and cut hay. Just to see, and you can see on the camera. This is the apothic. You know, this is apothic, what we started, and how that we said it was such a pink salmon compared to this. And this is more like a, this like a, a, a straw, pink straw. Mm -hmm. This is all Pinot Gris. Almost looks, I mean, it makes sense too, because it's almost like, a, you know, it's a white wine, Yeah. but the uh, grape skins gives it just a hint of color. 91 points on, uh, on one of the ratings it received. This is more of a grapefruit, Chris, grapefruit flavor. I was gonna say, I'm not picking any berry flavors up in it, which that. is surprising if, you know, you're drinking a rosé, and a lot of the rosés said strawberry, watermelon. Uh, I'm not. And now that you guys say that this is a Pinot Gris, that makes sense because you don't get those flavors with with a, a, a white grape or a pink grape. So yeah, I mean, we were, we were we were tasting before more of the red wine grapes that are made in a rosé style, where this one is a white wine made in a rosé style. So the flavors are just completely different. So doing research on on, on rosés, I again, a novice. Um, I didn't realize this had 100% Pinot you know, Gris. Uh, a lot of the other ones, like the Apothic, we had a tough time finding out what the blend ratio was. Um, There's a couple different blend ratios I saw, but for this year I saw Zin Cab. Um, there was one that I, I I saw, and it had. It was a French wine, and it had, you know, your Syrah as the mainstay, and then more like a red blend, it had like small percents of some grapes I had never heard of that are from the southern France, French area. And so it's, it's interesting how many different styles there are out there, how many different ways to make a rosé, uh, and hence a lot of different flavors, which, again, I haven't spent enough time in the genre to know that. Export it. Yeah, we've mentioned a couple. Do we are there any other ways that we haven't already mentioned to make a rose? Um, I believe I think we had some all, didn't we? Yeah, we did. 
Uh, one interesting fact I found uh, in doing some research was that also regionally will maybe dictate what method is used because I believe like the blend we talked about the blending method is frowned upon um, in France aside from champagne is okay to them like that, that to, in the in the Adding creation of a rosé when you're creating oh, a rosé okay so blending a white uh, and a red right is front is not acceptable in France but outside of France or outside of Europe perhaps um, that's when you're, you'll, you'll see there's less stringent um, uh, yeah I don't know if it's law per se or just rules or and France is a, France is a strange one because we talked about that when we tasted the Syrah and they blend a lot of times they blend a small amount of Viognier with the Syrah to get a very custom flavor but there you go they're, they're blending that's a specific area that does that um, not everybody we're everywhere in France but they do some interesting things they're different areas and every area is has its own set of rules right but in, your, in that instance that's creating the Syrah um, the that's red not, not, a, not, not a making red. a rosé yeah. right they're more likely to make it the other the other not the sangye the breathing method but it was the other day oh the um pre uh, immediate pressing mm -hmm. or the short maturation maceration yeah. cork soaking I've never every been time lou says maceration he says maceration <laughs> maceration that's why my, my I it's, it's, it's my pronunciation that's why I started laughing earlier and I was like, okay, can we do that again? You said so masturbation. Like, is that like going into a foray <laughs> of masturbation? Four -way. It's like going into a four-way, four foyer. <laughs> What's the difference? Masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was very funny. I, I mean, it was funny on its own, but the fact that you introduced it, we just started hanging out with you guys and it was my first. <laughs> Four away. Four away. Four away. Although how we met is, is a unique situation in itself. <laughs> What's that? I said how we met is a unique situation in itself. Yes. How you two met? Yes, how Deanna and I met. It was, and that was both of ours. We only went the one time, right? Didn't you just go that one time? I went a couple. No, we went a couple. Two. Well, I went at least a two or three, at least twice. We we met. I think the first time I went, and then I think we went a couple more times. Yeah. And that was about it. That's um, being really cryptic. Uh, uh, we 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 uh, had our first child, and we're finding the supportive way to uh, naturally feed that child. Yes, it was a, little, a new mom support group. <laughs> Set. Thank you. <laughs> and then we discovered, yeah, both our boy, our firstborn sons were like four days apart, so that was even cooler. And we lived like a mile from each other. <laughs> and then our secondborns were um, just under a month apart. Yeah. It's perfect until we moved. Yeah. Temporarily. Right? Yeah. We're, we're waiting to get the band back together. Band back together. Yes. <laughs> the band of roses. <laughs> the band of roses back together. Cheers. 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 Ching ching. Ching ching. Got a message from God. Ooh, ooh. A message from God. Good Chicago reference, Dean. Well done. Yes. Thank you. It's 104, 104 miles from Chicago. 104 miles from Chicago. One tank of gas. Pack of cigarettes. Half pack of cigarettes. Oh, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark. And we're wearing sunglasses. It is.